Calgary Buffalo, followed by Empton Beverly Clareview. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Premier has said we need to ensure our actions are fiscally responsible and fair, not only to this generation, but to those that follow. I agree with this statement, but actions speak louder than words. Currently, this government spends all of the $11 billion it brings in in non-renewable resource revenue. The province is taking on substantial debt to pay today's bills, while Norway has saved $600 billion for when the oil and gas runs out. To the Finance Minister, given the Heritage Trust Fund is worth less in real terms than it was in 1976, does your government believe it has a God-given right to spend all the oil and gas revenue as soon as it comes in? Good. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, we uh, do not have a God-given right to spend taxpayers' money. We have a responsibility tax to taxpayers to spend their money wisely, Mr. Speaker, and they entrusted at us with that responsibility on April 23rd of this year over the social credit policy or the tax me more policy or the tax me even more policy, Mr. Speaker. We have... We have Mr. Speaker, we will be bringing forward in this legislature a budget that is balanced, a budget that will include operating, a budget that will include savings, and a budget that will include a capital plan, Mr. Speaker. Honourable members, I know it's Thursday. Honourable members, honourable members, I know it's Thursday. I know that we're all a little bit anxious. However, I would ask you to please return to the decorum we had a few moments ago. Honorable Leader of the New Democratic well, Opposition, you rose on a point of order. Yes, yes. Our, our All right. Thank you. So we'll, uh, we'll note that point of order. I believe, <laughs> I believe that is point of order number six. And we'll deal with those in the order in which they arose. Honorable Member Calgary Buffalo, you have I realize this House seems to have a lot of fun with actually paying for things that we use, with actually revenue we bring in, but I stand by that first statement. I don't think the, the Honorable Minister answered it in any way, shape, right or form. Right on. Do you consider the royalty wealth that we bring in, in this province our God-given right to spend in one generation? Because that is what we have done. That's the question. Honorable That's President the President Board. Mr. Speaker, I, I did answer the, the question, and no, it's not anyone's God-given right to spend the natural resources that this province has been blessed with. Mr. Speaker, what we are doing is spending taxpayers' money wisely based on the financial policy that we brought forward. It's unfortunate that they don't disagree with it. Obviously, Albertans did, or they wouldn't have put us on this side of the House, Mr. Speaker. As I said, we will be bringing forward a balanced budget in the spring that will include an operating plan, a savings plan, and a capital plan, Mr. Speaker. I said it before, I'll say it again, and I'll keep saying it even to those folks who don't seem to listen to it, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Member. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Has this government simply given up the hopes and aspirations of former Premier Lougheed of saving something for when this province is out of oil and gas? Is that what I'm hearing from yes. this minister? Yes. Honourable President. President. Well, Mr. Speaker, as, as someone who uh, grew up with uh, many members of the Lougheed family and with uh, someone who's very close to Mr. Lougheed, uh, was uh, somewhat of a mentor for me, uh, I can say no, we have not given up on the future of this province, Mr. Speaker, as some others may have. We believe in the vision of this province. We believe in the opportunity that it presents, not only for the pioneers who came here originally, but for all of those new Albertans that are coming and the Albertans that are here. They are here because we create opportunity for them now and into the future, and we'll continue to do so, Mr. Speaker.